Ik ben aan niet Of wie is meer dan een selfie? I live where there's no TV, there's no radio, there's no clocks, there's no electric lights. The girls carry water, they don't wear makeup, they have their babies by themselves. They go in the shack and squat down and have their babies. I live on the ground, I live on the earth. I don't live, I lived in Hollywood and I had all that, the Rolls Royce and the Ferrari and the pad in Beverly Hills. I had the surfboard and the Beach Boys and the Beast Keeps and the Neil Diamond and the Rob Scott and the Jimmy Schiffin and Elvis Presley's and Bestley's and all them guys. The Dina Martins and the Nancy Sinatra's and the, and the Gaffes of Suffering. Will you do it to me? I hear you do it good, honey, and all that kind of, will you come up to my house later? So I went through all that and I seen that was a bigger prison than the one I just got out of and I really didn't care to go back to prison. See, prison doesn't begin and end at the gate. Prison is in your mind. It's locked in one world that's dead and dying or it's open to a world that's free and alive. Drugs, LSD, I don't consider a drug. I don't consider poverty a drug. Those are more or less religiously significant awareness mind expanding apparatuses that come from the intelligence of the universe the reason that the girls liked me was hey now hey now i'm all around you round you hey now up on your heart i can sing through you and i play and I sing and they say, hey man, you, you, got, you got soul in that music. And I said, yeah, I, I play a little bit, you know. I like music. And they said, man, you're really somebody. I said, oh, I am? Well, I just got out of jail. I don't know what somebody is. They like my music. They say, man, we want to get you over. I said, get me over for what? He said, we take you down here to Beverly Hills and we want to get you in with, because you're a star. I said, I'm a what? They said, you're a star. So they took me to the Beach Boys. And I went and I got on a surfboard and I rode around and I looked and I said, gee, Queen of Chingasos, this is more, this is more trouble than what I just got out of. You got nine, nine, look at yourself. You got to wear that, whether you like it or not. You got to do things. You got to get up and go through all kinds of changes. Whether you want to or not doesn't matter. Your whole life is put in your paycheck. I don't, you couldn't pay me all the money in the world to do something I don't want to do. If I'm shoveling the barn and you want me to go uh, desk a rum flop, I say, no, 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 I'm doing something right here. I'm helping this blind man. I feel better in doing what I want to do. I did not break the law. Jesus Christ told you that 2,000 years ago. You don't understand me. That's your trouble. Not my fault because you don't understand me. I don't understand you either. But I don't spend my whole life trying to put the blame over on you because my cigarette didn't light or because something didn't work right. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here. I don't need to live in this physical realm. I walk around in the physical realm and I put on the faces and I talk and I play and hang yeah, and it's this big act, man. In the spiritual world is where I live. I exist in places you never even dreamed of. You talk about, you know, this little physical realm you live in, guilty and is he in sin? How's your courts guilty? How many people do you think you've hung on the ventilators in the nut wards and forced medication on them? You see what I'm saying? You don't have any idea what the hell's going on. 
If you knew what the hell was going on in your own system, then you'd say, oh, now I see what's creating this. Society's creating it. Society's saying, we want these Rambos. We want these killers. Oh, wow, man. Look at that dude there. And you got little kids looking in, in the book, and uh, where they're selling in it. The, oh, yeah, Sears and Roebuck. Rambo from 12 to 15. Uh, Kai Karate from age 5 to 17. And you got all your kids out here doing these crazy things. Now you want to come and say, Charlie Manson's the father of our country. We're convicting you for being Jesus Christ. We're convicting you for being the devil. We're convicting you for being responsible for our actions. I'm not responsible for anyone's actions, but my own actions. In my whole life, I've burglarized the grocery store, sold some nickels and dimes, busted open a stamp machine, stole a few automobiles, and cashed a couple checks. I'm a petty car thief. I've uh, been with prostitutes and bums and winos and all my life. Uh, the street is my world. I don't. Uh, I don't pretend to go uptown and be anything fancy. I can, but I find more real in the world that I'm in than I do the tinsel. And the real world is the one I have to deal with every day, you know. Uh, believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. If I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. <laughs>
nothing wrong with it. You haven't broken any laws, have you? None whatsoever. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. You haven't broken any laws, have you? None whatsoever. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. You haven't broken any laws, have you? None whatsoever. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, you haven't broken any laws, have you? None whatsoever.
I wish you'd send James a copy of this and tell him if he had them swords, I'd just reach and take them swords and I'd break them and throw them down on his feet. You dig what I'm saying? And I'd tell him, now stand at attention when I'm talking to you. That's where it comes from. It didn't come from no fucking book. 
Stand up or I'll knock your fucking brains out. You dig what I'm saying? Handcuff the son of a bitch down there and let me I'll show you how I interrogate the motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? I'll interrogate you. I'll reach in your brain and pull your fucking soul out and throw it on the floor. I'm tired of this bullshit, you dig? And all these people that run around and play acting like hoo gaga and playing all that shit, they better get, they better get, they better get in line or get off the motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? Satan means whatever I'm looking at, whatever I want it to mean. It's on my forehead. It's it with me on it's me if I can get up on that highway. It's me, it's me trying to save my air. My water, my trees, my wildlife. It's me on that cameraman. It's me right there in his watch. It's me in his brain. It's me right there on his ears. And when he shaves in the morning, I'm sitting right up underneath his razor. You dig? It's everything that human beings are, don't understand. It's all their fears. It's what they're not sure of. You dig what I'm saying? Satan to me would be God. You would be God to me. I can worship anything as God. Everything is God. The sun is God. The moon is God. Everything is God. Except the stupid fucking people who got that shit stuck up in their fucking heads and won't get rid of it. In other words, they talk about in the name of the Lord, we're going to say this. In the name of the Lord, we're going to say that. In the name of the Lord, if, if there was such a thing, you see what I'm saying? Would he be the devil? If there was such a thing, would he be the devil? I'm out there on the highway. <laughs> sure, I'm out there on the highway. I'm out there on the highway in Big Dragon, in the underworld. I'm out there in Hawaii. I'm out there in all kinds of different things. Uh, you might say I'm kind of like Satan. I'm in so many different places at once. Yeah, it would be like Satan. It would be very sharp for one person to do all the things that I'm going to have to do to survive in you and in you and in you and in you too. <laughs>